the 155 mm projectile is composed of four parts, the detonating fuse, the projectile itself, the propellant, and the prima. Each shell measures about 60 centimeters, 2 feet, in length, weighs about 45 kilograms, 100 pounds, and has a diameter of 155 millimeters, 6.1 inches. They are used in howitzer systems, which are large towed artillery pieces recognizable by the range of the firing angle that their barrels can be set to. Moreover, the 155 millimeters shells can be configured in various ways. They can be loaded with highly explosive material, use precision guided systems, penetrate armor, or produce significant fragmentation. The production process for artillery shells involves several steps, typically including design, manufacturing, assembly, testing, and packaging. Engineers design the artillery shell according to the specifications provided by the military or the client. This includes determining the size, shape, materials, explosive content, and other relevant factors. The shell casing is manufactured using various methods such as machining, forging, or casting, depending on the design requirements. Precision is crucial to ensure the shell functions correctly and safely. The explosive filler and other components are also manufactured separately.
assembly. In this stage, all the components are assembled together to create the complete artillery shell. This includes inserting the explosive filler, attaching the fuse, and any other necessary components. The assembly process must be carried out with extreme care to prevent accidental detonation. Testing. Once assembled, the artillery shells undergo rigorous testing to ensure they meet quality and safety standards. This may include testing for structural integrity, accuracy, reliability, and safety features such as arming and detonation mechanisms. Packaging. After passing quality control tests, the artillery shells are packaged for storage and transportation. Proper packaging is essential to protect the shells from damage and ensure they remain stable during transit. Throughout the entire process, strict safety protocols are followed to prevent accidents and ensure the safety of workers and end users. Additionally, quality control measures are implemented at each stage to maintain the integrity and effectiveness of the artillery shells. The specific details of the process can vary depending on the type of shell, caliber, and manufacturer. Safety measures are paramount throughout the process, with strict regulations and procedures in place to minimize risks. Due to the sensitive nature of weapons manufacturing, specific details and facilities involved are often confidential. The design of the case is determined by the firearm in which the ammunition is used. The typical brass case is formed from an eeled sheet by drying with a multiple punch and die set. The first stage of the multiple die set forms the metal, the second stretches the metal deeper, the third forms the rim, and so on. Each step stretches the metal slightly farther until the final stage produces an accurately formed case. The cases are trimmed to length and the prima hole is punched. Treating and stress relieving are performed to selected types of cases to improve durability. This is accomplished in large batch events where baskets of cases are heated with enough temperature to gently soften the metal without distorting it. When cooled, the metal is relaxed and better able to take the punishment of firing. Some handgun caliber cases are nickel plated for durability and reloading, corrosion resistance, and for appearance. Each case is stamped with information such as caliber, manufacturer, munitions codes, and year of manufacture.
The bullet is firmly seated into the open end of the case. The bullet has a coating of lubricant to prevent corrosion and assist in the assembly process. The bullet is then crimped into the case to give the correct overall length of the cartridge. The crimp reduces the diameter of the open end of the case and captures the bullet tightly, sealing the assembly together so moisture cannot invade the powder. The press used to assemble cartridges must feed each component accurately and in the correct sequence. Otherwise, cases could be unprimed, powder left out, or billets seated incorrectly. Any of these could result in a misfire or loss of accuracy at the minimum and, at worst, cause the firearm to blow apart upon firing. In each stage of the process, special dies perform the important assembly function. The dies are made of tooling carbide for long life and have close adjustments to produce quality ammunition. After assembly, the finished cartridges are packaged, usually 50 to a box, and prepared for shipment to the shooter. Most manufacturers shoot thousands of their own cartridges as part of their quality control programs and processes. The accuracy, pressure, reliability, velocity, and consistency are all recorded. The weapons used for this are specially made, highly accurate, and equipped with data-gathering electronics. Each production run of a particular cartridge is given a lot code. This number, printed on the ammunition box, allows ammunition to be inventoried and traced. Should a particular lot show problems in the field, that group can be recalled and replaced using the lot code system.